I'm just turning my phone off. I've been to the Better Way conference and one of the speakers there, oh, the Better Way conference was that conference in Bath where loads of truth tellers, people into sovereignty, people into healing and health and all those good stuff got together to find and have a chat really about a better way for society rather than the dictating tyrannical society that's been pushed down through the government from places like the WEF and the World Health Organization who actually wants to take away our sovereignty for some reason so that should there be another pandemic, goodness gracious, let's hope not, that they, this think tank who are unelected, uh, that they would be able to dictate to us and tell us exactly how we ought to behave. Anyway, most people naturally think that that's a stupid idea. One government, world government, what a load of old nonsense. Anyway, the Better Health Conference, the Better Way Conference was absolutely inspiring and I loved every moment of it. But one of the speakers there, in fact, one of the whole conversations there was about EMF. Yes, electrical magnetic frequencies. Uh, you thought I was talking about a furniture store then, didn't you, EMF? No, 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 no. This is electrical magnetic frequencies, the sort of stuff that's being emitted by our phones on the old 4G, 5G, and who knows when the next one comes down the line. Anyway, the point being is, this is all sort of evaporating our brains, doing some very nasty stuff. There were slides actually showing what happens when you hold your phone in your hand, what it does to the blood going around your hand. And it's really weird that it should show that because I noticed some strange pain after spending some time on my phone tapping out on the old texts and the WhatsApp and the telegrams and all this sort of nonsense. And I thought, oh, that's really weird. Have I got that weird con a bit of arthritis, you know, have I got that coming in from just holding the phone? Well, I think now, having seen some of these slides of these blood cells, where they get the, the frequency is interrupting the blood and doing some rather nasty things, I thought, oh, I don't know, I like that. And those people who put their phones to their head, it's all right, I'll turn this off. And then you see the images that they were showing, these sort of x-rays of what was going on to the brain. It's not safe. It's not safe. Now, I know people have been concerned about mobile phones for decades. And of course, they've been laughed at uh, throughout all that time as nut jobs. But this was really worrying to me because we are surrounded in our houses, in our streets, all over the place by these electrical magnetic frequencies. And as I said in a, in a video I made some time ago, my dad used to be in the aerial business. He used to join bits of wire together and make these aerials at different bandwidths. And he used to tell me that certain bandwidths, certain frequencies were not good for the human psyche. And of course, as a kid, when he used to do all of this, I just laughed and thought, oh, dad, come on, you're just scaremongering. Of course, I take things a little bit more seriously these days, as I'm sure you're aware. And what with the threat of these 5G masts going up everywhere, with these very small microwaves going on at frequencies which are really not good for us, I am slightly concerned. Now, I know most people would say, oh, Richard, you've got your tin hat on again. And that may well be true. And to be honest with you, a tin foil hat is probably the best thing to have. In fact, I was thinking, in, I need to turn the house into a bit of a Faraday cage. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I thought, I wonder what would be the cheapest. Maybe I should get some tin foil, you know, the stuff you wrap round your turkey at Christmas, and start using that as wallpaper all around so that in the rooms that I'm in, in the house, which is all of them, I would have a slightly space age sort of look to it, but the radiation may not come in. Or what I could do, of course, is turn off my Wi-Fi because it's the Wi-Fi units themselves which are radiating all over the house and interfering with our health. Oh, I didn't know that. Now, of course, the best thing to do would be to get rid of these mobile phones altogether, once and for all, just simply chuck them away. Because in many ways, not only is the electromagnetic frequencies attacking us, but all the influence from the nasty people are also influencing us 
on those things. I was only talking to somebody the other day and he said, I went down to the co-op to go and get some food. Uh, he's obviously not an inspired person. He should have been going to a farm shop. You know what it's like. But he went to the co-op and he got there a bit early. And the people there, there were a few people. I think he said there were eight gentlemen waiting for the doors to open. And nobody was talking to one another. They were all looking at their phones, being absorbed. The art of conversation had disappeared. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with EMF, but that's just a statement of fact that people are so glued to their, their phones, they're never going to get shot at them, are they? Because they've become so incredibly addictive. Now, at the Better Way conference, I did notice that there was a solution. I think there was some form of adapter that you could plug into your phone and then plug it into, I guess, a an internet cable so that you could still have access to the internet, but you weren't using the Wi-Fi. It is a bit like going back in time, isn't it? Going back to having a landline. But then I thought, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should just reinstate my landline. I did have a landline. I've still got a landline and some people do ring me up on it. Recently, I've had to unplug it because people kept ringing me up doing, selling me all sorts of nonsense, you know, spam calls, all of that. And occasionally nice people who are trying to get hold of me couldn't get hold of me. So maybe I may have to reinstate the, the old uh, landline because that seems to be a much safer system than these electrical magnetic frequencies. The other thing is, I was wondering, because I try to answer all the emails that I get in as regularly as I can, often when I'm out and about with my mobile phone, well, for firstly, I'm going to now no longer keep my mobile phone with me when I go out. That's also good because it stops people tracking me. You know, the bad people who want to know exactly where I am and can trace where I go. Because these phones, not only do they admit the electrical magnetic frequencies, which is bad for our brains and bad for our blood and all the organs of our body, but they're also sending out signals to people, you know, the military people, those people who are sort of there monitoring all the stuff that we do so that they know where we are at any one time. Who would have thought it? Well, apparently that's what's going on. It's this sort of preparing us so that when we go to that, you know, that China state type situation where we've got biometrics and we've got digital IDs and 15 minute cities, we're much easier to trace. Of course, they'd rather we had a chip in us, which is something I will not be having. Thank you very much. So I don't now take my phone out with me. I've made that as a thing. So it seems to me that the mobile phone is a bit of a double-edged sword. We've all become so dependent on it, haven't we? So, so much suckered in, it's so useful. It takes photographs and it plays our YouTube videos. It keeps our banking details there. We can even pay with things. It's such a, a wonderful thing, apart from when you lose it, of course, and then your whole life goes out the window. But if there was a time when we managed without a mobile phone. There was a time when you didn't have a mobile phone and no one could actually trace where you were going. No one could spy on you. No one could actually listen to you. And even better, no one could send out EMF, those electrical magnetic frequencies out, which were damaging your health with that funny, incredibly magical device. So what will we do? Will we get rid of the mobile phone and go back to writing letters? I even thought maybe I should operate a, a P.O. box. Instead of asking people to email me, I would say send a letter. And then, of course, I would reply by letter. It's not the cheapest way of doing things these days because the price of a stamp is so expensive. But it would probably cut down the amount of emails that I've got. Well, it would cu cut down the amount of correspondence I got. So that wouldn't be a bad thing, though it might cost me an arm and a leg to reply to everybody. But you know what it's like, don't you? When a, an envelope dropped through your letterbox in handwriting from somebody you respect or like or enjoy, it's very exciting, isn't it? Much, much better than a plain old email. So there we go. Get your fountain pens ready. Get your pots of ink ready. I'll set up a P.O. box and then we can write to each other and it'll be fun and safe for once.